welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be like a shopping blog, packing blog. Don't really know what I'm going to title it, but it's going to be something along those lines. So you already know, if you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And if you're a subscriber, hey, bestie, hey, and let's get into this video. Okay, y'all, so I am moving in 11 days. Oh, super excited. So I pretty much started packing already. Like, this is everything that I have, like, out here that's packed. These boxes are fully packed, and those boxes still need to be packed. Right now, I'm about to go to Target and get some of the stuff that I need, because I like to buy my stuff beforehand, and I know it's a little bit last minute, but I still want to get the stuff bought and stuff. So, y'all yeah, about to go ahead and head to Target. So, I'm going to bring y'all along. Okay, y'all know it's not a day if I don't get no food first. So, I came to Raising Cane's, never been to Raising Cane's, but y'all know I go to the Target in Beaufort. Fun fact about me. I go to the Target in Beaufort, and... They have Raisin Cane's in Beaufort. Never knew that we had Raisin Cane's in Georgia. Um, I'm not even from Georgia, so I wouldn't even have new. But I've never seen a Raisin Cane's out here. I've never even heard of Raisin Cane's being... We don't have one in South Carolina, I don't think. Not in Greenville. We got Who and Magoo's. But this is crazy. So I'm getting Raisin Cane's because I be hearing people be talking about it. And I'm going to rate it 1 through 10 for y'all because... Is it, a, is, it a, is it good or is it not? It's like, which one of the one? Which one of the above? But anyways, yeah, I'm uh, about to get my food and I'm going to sit in the car and eat it and then we're going to go in Target. Child, Target got the music so loud today, but we're going to start off with getting washcloths because these right here are important. I wish they didn't only have white, but washcloths I have to have a bunch of washcloths like I just have to have a bunch I use so many washcloths I have to have so many okay y'all I actually might change my mind and put back those like white and gray towels that I got because I found this bath rug look how pretty this color is it's like brown it's like brown y'all hold on I don't know if y'all can see this really well it's like brown and I'm thinking like to do my bathroom brown because I feel like brown actually would eat better. Brown and like a white. Let me show y'all a video of my apartment. Cause y'all, I'm gonna do an empty apartment tour, but let me show y'all a video of my apartment. And then again, y'all not gonna see this until, but let's see. At the, you know, actually that brown might be too, that brown might not look good. Honestly, you never know. I don't know if that brown gonna look good with them cabinets. What y'all think? I like this one better. Y'all, I'm just gonna jump out on Aletha Faith and do the brown. So, yeah. Okay, y'all, I decided to do white because looking at my counters and stuff, brown not gonna go, black not gonna go. The only thing that I really feel like gonna go is white with like black accents or another color accents, but majority of it need to be white, so. I found this white rug and I'm gonna get a white hand towel and then like a black small towel. And then I have decor at home, like white decor and stuff like that. And I'm gonna get like white, um... oh y'all look at this one. Oh no, I don't like this one. But I'm gonna get like white everything else. So the color we're going with for the bathroom is white. Okay y'all, I'm getting these right here these and some of these i'm gonna put like q-tips and stuff in it you know like stuff like that okay y'all i have to get like some good pillows let me see some good ones because the last pillows i had wasn't hitting on nothing like they was terrible okay yeah okay so i found these two right here i didn't find a tray let me see that tray is like not white. I'm gonna, probably gonna have to order like a little bathroom tray on Amazon, but this is what I found. I like these. Like, I'll just get this one right here. And I had got me some pads, y'all, because that's important. But I'm gonna just get me some hygiene stuff, y'all. And I'm gonna show y'all everything I get. So y'all, they have like a pack. They have a pack of toothbrushes right here for like $7. This is a lot of them, so I'm gonna get these. And I don't know what these are, but they're pink. So I'm getting them because they're pink. And I don't know about y'all, but I use Listerine and I'm about to start getting the big version of stuff. So I won't run out, but I use Listerine. Y'all know I gotta get Dove, a bunch of them, cause I use Dove. So we're gonna start with the sensitive skin Dove. 
I'm gonna start putting stuff over there. Start with the sensitive skin because I love sensitive skin. Duh. And then I'm gonna try this one right here, this glowing mango one. And let's get one more. And we'll get this lavender one because it says it's relaxing. But y'all know I keep me, I keep me some dove. Um let's go to deodorant. They wouldn't lie when they said deodorant was uh $12 now, y'all. But I'ma get I'm always dropping something. I'ma get secret powder fresh. Deodorant lasts a long time with me. Um and then get me two of these loofahs. Um, let's see what else I should get. I don't really use bar soap no more, y'all. Bar soap don't do it for me. Um, I've been wanting to try this, but it's like $16 in this economy. It's crazy, but it's like, I don't even care. I'm just about to go ahead and get it because, you know. But I think I'm gonna get this one right here because I've been wanting this one. And this is the one I'm gonna get. So we're gonna sit this right here. Y'all, our cart is basically full, so I'm actually about to stop shopping because it's like, it's not really much more that you can get with this cart full like this, honestly. And then I'm going to Dollar Tree for tissue, cleaning supplies, stuff like that. But I'm not gonna go to Dollar Tree till probably the day of. But honestly, y'all, I feel like I've got everything that I need. Like my cart is so freaking full. That's Brooklyn, y'all, say hi. But my cart is so freaking full and yeah, let's just go ahead and check out. Okay y'all, so I packed everything up in my trunk. I'm about to honestly head home and pack up. So I'm gonna see y'all once I get to the house. When I tell y'all, when I got home, I didn't even get to pack much because I got hopped right into doing wig promos because I'm trying to get my wig promos done. I had three promos to do and I still have one, two, three, four over there and I still have some on the way. Four promos that I needed to do today and I only got three done. Child, I couldn't even pack nothing. Tomorrow, I'm literally going to pack because this is honestly insane. Let me see if I have any clients tomorrow because I'm not gonna lie. This is actually crazy. Let me see, no, I don't have no clients tomorrow but I have clients on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Literally. Okay, but I'm gonna wake up in the morning and I'm gonna pack. We're gonna pack, y'all. I promise we're gonna pack. We're gonna get some stuff done because next week gonna come fast as hell. Do y'all hear me? But we're gonna get packed and I'm going to see y'all in the morning. I love y'all and we're gonna catch up in the morning, okay? Good morning, y'all. I'm literally about to start packing. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I have not came back for a couple days. It's Thursday. I think I saw y'all Monday, Sunday, whichever day that was. It was Monday. I believe it was Monday. It's now Thursday. Um, I'm about to pack because child is getting closer and closer to the day. It's about to be one week until moving day. So, yeah, I'm about to pack up some stuff because I do got some stuff to be packed. But, y'all, when I say I've been doing week promos and I've been doing nails all week long. I ain't really had no time for nothing. So that's why I didn't come back till today. Don't get mad at me, but that's why I didn't come back till today, okay? For sure. I thought she said she. So 
I did do a little packing yesterday. Um, I pretty much got the bathroom and the closet done. Um, I am going to finish up a little bit of packing today, but since my life is so hectic and chaotic, I know this video is sporadic. It started with me at Target, then it went into me packing, and now it's me talking. But I did want to give a little insight on why I'm moving, because I know um, I get on live on TikTok pretty often, and a lot of people ask me why I move, and I feel like I really didn't share with my YouTube family why I'm moving. Um, I moved here officially my lease was up in south carolina in october on october around the first so i'm gonna say i officially became a georgia resident on the first of october um so that was like november october november december january february march six months ago so um i've only been here for six months and the apartment that we're in is not the best apartment um the parking is terrible um there are some nights I get home at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock from doing nails, and there is literally no parking whatsoever. I have to park across the street in the other building and walk all the way down the hill. So that's one reason to why I don't like this apartment anymore. Definitely the parking. And then, you know, we have some neighbors, like the neighbor downstairs. It's like a neighbor from hell. He always filing noise complaints on us and saying we're making noise. And half the time, we don't even be at home. One time, y'all, I remember when y'all, do y'all remember when we went to New York? Well, when we went to New York, we had got a noise complaint, but there was nobody inside the house. Um, we were in New York. Nobody was here. We had got a noise complaint. I don't know what it was about. And then one day, I just had got home from doing nails. I was the only person in the house. We had got a noise complaint, said that we were making the ceiling shake. But y'all, I can't make the ground shake. I'm not, you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how I can make the ground shake, just one person. And it's just like it was noise complaint after noise complaint after noise complaint. And then it's like the lady in the front office, she's very rude and stuff like that. Um, and it's just a lot of things that I just can't deal with or tolerate. Y'all know I don't like to stay in spaces that are uncomfortable or the energy is off. I don't like to be in a space like that for too long. Um, so those are some of the reasons that, you know, we're not going to be staying in this apartment anymore. Um, and then on top of that... It just be a lot going on. This apartment doesn't offer any amenities. It doesn't have anything spectacular to it for the price of the rent that, you know, we're paying. We do pay almost $1,900 a month for nothing spectacular. You get what I'm saying? So, the apartment that I'm moving to has way more amenities. It has the movie room. It has a really big pool. It has a really big gym. Because y'all know, I want to get into my fitness bag, my fitness journey. I want to become a fitness girly. And, like, I would either have to get a gym membership or, you know, and the gym membership is not convenient to me. I can't just go downstairs and go to the gym you know but at the new apartment i'm moving to i can go downstairs go to the gym and then go back upstairs you know so it's very convenient like the last apartment i had um and then also it has like co-working spaces because y'all know i'm going to nursing school um and then on top of the co-working spaces it has like room like you know like little rooms where you can go in and then they have like this this game room you can rent out if you want to have something with your friends and again like i said the pool is really big so um yeah and then it just offers a lot more than this apartment here, and it's, you know, $100, $200 cheaper than this apartment. So, um, yeah, that's another thing. It just doesn't have any amenities, so we did decide to break the lease. Um, break the lease was a fairly easy process. All we had to do, of course, was pay one month's rent, which is a termination fee. I know a lot of people were asking me, how do you break the lease without getting penalized? You break the lease without getting penalized by paying all your fees before you move out. Don't move out and then don't pay your fees because then you'll run into things like collection debt and stuff like that. So definitely pay all your fees before you move out because you don't want, you know, you don't want those problems. Um, so definitely do that. That's um, what we did. Um, I am going to be living alone. That was just our own personal decision. Like, there's nothing to it besides, um, I'm living by myself. Just a better situation for me in general, of, again, because I will be starting nursing school. And then on top of that, um, you know, people just need space. It's not no issue, not no problem. That's just sometimes how things go. People need space apart, and that's fine. I do want to say that because people keep asking me that question as well, so I want to address that. Um, I want to let that come out of my mouth and nobody else's. Um, I will be living by myself, so this will be a, like a journey, again, of getting accustomed to living by myself again because um, y'all know I stayed by myself in my last apartment, so it's just a journey to get like used to staying by myself. Um, again, I will be doing a lot more content. I'm going to try to do a lot more content than I did previously. I'm trying to get consistent with YouTube, y'all. Y'all got to bear with me because because I'm, I'm having a hard time, but I feel like this moving will set me, you know, 
this movie will set me to record more and stuff like that and also i do want to get out more in atlanta i feel like since i moved here i haven't done anything because i don't know anybody um but i'm not afraid to do things by myself um i'm learning that you don't have to do stuff with people all the time and i've always knew that i've always knew you didn't have to do stuff with people all the time but it's just like now i'm getting more accustomed to georgia i'm getting used to georgia so now i want to start going out more and doing more things and just living you know the living a, a life of like you know um and then of course my wig promos continue to come in they come in steady so that's what i've been doing most of the time i be posting on tiktok more than i post on youtube just because i do you know wig content so it's easier to just record a wig video post it on tiktok going about my business but i want to definitely get back into youtube heavy i feel like this is a rant session um but i just really wanted to let y'all know what's been going on because i've been missing and stuff like that and then this video was very sporadic so i know y'all like this girl can't stay in one steady place but i wanted to be honest raw and transparent i have a lot going on in my life right now especially with trying to move so definitely once i move everything will get back steady um and yeah i am gonna end the vlog right here because i honestly don't plan on packing until sunday because i have a client today um and then also my friend is having a sleepover she sent a new address i don't know how far it is but i'm potentially going to my friend's sleepover tonight um and then tomorrow i have maybe like 10 week promos um i gotta pick out which ones i want to do but saturday i told myself i wanted to go on like a little mini solo day do my hair do my makeup so i'm going to form that into a video so y'all be seeing that video coming very soon um so i probably don't plan on packing again till sunday i'll probably do a sunday reset sunday maybe no promises but um yeah i just really wanted to let y'all know what was going on i don't never want to leave y'all out the loop y'all know i'm raw i'm transparent i keep it real and i'm never gonna leave y'all out the loop so yeah i love y'all and i'm gonna see y'all in the next video and please prepare for this moving series because i'm getting serious and i'm gonna bring y'all along my moving process um and yeah and i'm gonna give y'all an empty apartment for this time bye y'all <laughs>